sometimes when a game comes out with a cheap and cheerful platinum, you kind of question the quality, but there are some hidden gems out there, and this is certainly one. Blitzbreaker for me was a really engaging and fun game to play, hard and challenging but fair, with a couple of unique tricks up its sleeve and some well designed levels. The deal with Blitzbreaker is that you can only dash constantly in up, down, left and right, and when you dash you keep going in that direction until you hit something. You can jump as well, and that's quite handy, but you can only really jump when you're stationary. And so it's when you land on a wall and you're kind of there that you kind of go, right, can I use a jump now? And that's very handy for levels that have got, say, like lots of moving conveyor belts and things like that, or choosing when to jump off of magnetic uh, platforms. The other secret key to Blitzbreaker is that levels are designed around when you hit a wall, you have like a recoil bounce back that pulls you away from the wall to the tune of about one to sometimes two spikes width. And so the key with Blitzbreaker that teaches you from world two onwards in this game is that often levels are designed around you dashing to one direction, smacking a wall and being precise in when you trigger that dash as you kind of say like fall down a tunnel so that you miss spikes on like either side. And then when you hit that wall, you kind of splat on it and then bounce back. And then you need to trigger your next jump during that bounce back to almost like pinball your way round the level. It took a little while for me to get used to. So the first 10 minutes of the game, I kind of was like, mm, mm, dying a lot. But actually, after a while, it gets quite rhythmic and you get into the pattern and you can look and feel like you're doing some really good gameplay and pulling off tricks. This is all really helpful because Blitzbreaker's progression is linked to being able to complete levels quickly. There's a timer up on the top which acts as your score counter, essentially, uh, and you're awarded stars for being able to complete levels within a certain time period. But so long as you reach the exit before it hits zero, you're good to go and you can continue on. A few times where, where you've got like lots of decision choices or you might need to be quite precise on your timing, that clock drops to zero quite quickly. So a lot of the game kind of level unpicking with Blitzbreaker is working out, particularly when you've got levels with multiple screens. You don't know what you're going to hit until you kind of veer off the screen. So you need to kind of be... Uh, willing to accept a few, I would say, cheap deaths when you zoom off the screen and then you land in a pile of spikes and you think, well, I was never to know that that was there. <laughs> um, if you can overcome that, actually, Blitzbreaker is about understanding the level and getting the rhythm in and then getting the good score to progress. There are optional power-ups uh, and like collectibles that you can have uh, that look like little glitch boxes. Um, I have to say they were often too far out of the way for me to be able to get them and still get to the end of the level in the time limit. Plus they were also in like really tight spaces with spikes all around and when you're dealing with lots of uh, tricky levels you kind of don't want to <laughs> ruin your run so to speak. I wanted to also shout out that the bosses are quite well done in Blitzbreaker as well. There's one uh, where you have to like run away from something that's smashing the level apart, uh, which was really well put together because it puts all of your practice uh, techniques into motion so that you have to really chain up lots of things together. And there was a second world boss where there's an octopus uh, that I just thought was really well designed where it's sat in a corner um, and you have to use various different uh, um, magnetic uh, boards to kind of dive in between and it's just well thought out and it was just better than expected I think a couple of things might put people off and one it will be the difficulty and some of the cheap challenge the second one is the weird option for it to be such a thin screen and only using a section of the screen to actually have the game on it feels like they were designing a shoot 'em up and then just left it like that it may be that it's come from mobile routes as well. I honestly don't know. Um, I have to say it didn't really affect my judgment too much. I got used to it quite quickly. And you can change up the background so that you can kind of make things either more prominent or less prominent as you go along. But yeah, I just wanted to shout that this game was better than I thought it was going to be. It was fairly enjoyable. There's 101 levels, so there's plenty for you to get through. 
um, and it offered up a quite meaty challenge too. Written reviews over on highplanegames.com. If you found this video informative, please do give it a thumbs up uh, and let us know if you're going to be buying it down in the comments. I'll hopefully catch you again for another weird and wonderful game that you've probably never heard of over on Higher Plane Games. You guys take care. Bye. Higher Plane Games is part of the Higher Plane Network, a completely independent media outlet supported by people like you. The goal is to create the best possible content that cultivates a richer indie scene for games as well as music and entertainment. To find out more and to get involved, visit patreon.com forward slash higherplanenetwork. Your support makes all the difference, and in return you'll gain access to bonus content and downloads. Thank you for watching.